The research is based on the fact that heart disease kills a large fraction of our population every year. And one of the biggest contributors to heart disease is the formation of atherosclerotic plaque. We had done some preliminary work that showed that exposure to fine particles and ultrafine particles increased plaque formation. So we designed this new study to determine were there specific compounds in the air pollution, in the particles, that were specifically causing that biological effect. What we did was we developed a system where we could remove the organic constituents off the surface of the particle and expose the animals either to the particles that were denuded or stripped versus the particles that were not stripped. When we did that, we found that only the unstripped particles, the undenuded particles, accelerated the growth of plaque in the arteries of these mice, but that the denuded particles, the effects were not very different from the exposure to clean air. So this uh, essentially uh, verified our original hypothesis that the organics were very important. The uh, follow-up work <coughs> is going to involve uh, the question of ozone because ozone and particles are present very often together and especially in California. What we're interested in seeing is in situations where you have both ozone and particles present, will we see more of an effect than with either ozone or particles alone? The second question we want to answer is, does this, if there is an effect, which very likely will occur, is it mediated by the ozone reacting with the organics on the particle? So if we remove the ozone-treated particles, or the organics from the ozone-treated particles, will that remove the excess effect? I think the take-home message, well, there are several. One is that the very small particles, the ultrafine particles, <clears throat> are very important, especially for cardiovascular effects. The second message is that it's not just the particles, it's the particles plus the organic constituents that are important. And the third take-home is that the techniques that we were using to remove the organics from the particles are things that are currently being done to help clean up emissions from various combustion sources like diesel trucks and uh, power plants. And this provides an additional rationale. Not only do you remove the particles, or many of them, but the particles that aren't removed are made less toxic. So I think that uh, it says that uh, there could be some real public health benefit from pursuing that line of uh, work.